I'm getting ready to start on this fixture for the uh, hinge mounts for both the aileron and the flap. And I've got this drawing that came with the plans, this supplement. And it's a little inaccurate. So it's always good to check these things. Because like it gives this face distance from here out to the uh, bearing here is three sixteenths, six and three sixteenths. But on the plans it's six and five sixteenths. So this whole spacing is called out different too. Um, this calls out uh, one and forty thousandths. And uh, the plans actually show twenty thousandths. So no big deal. But uh, kind of always good to check the documentation. I'll make the fixture to the print numbers. Here's my aileron and hinge mount jig per the addendum there, mostly. And uh, I also made up some spacers for the, the bearing brackets here that will enterprise. Starship Enterprise looking things and you just go in like that simulate where the bearing would be so I can start fabbing flap and aileron mounts I'm drilling holes for washers so this is the basic washer that's needed for these aileron and flap mounts it's three quarters of an inch with a uh, three sixteenths hole in the middle. So there's a couple on the on the jig already. So I need twenty something of them. So I'm going to uh, I laid them out. I'm going to drill the holes, and then I'll cut them out and I'll gang them up and turn them on the lathe so they'll be pretty and round. So I'm taking four washers at a time, screwing them into this little blanks, they're not going to be my washers. Bring the life center up here. Cutting the standoffs for the feet that sit on the spar. So they're three quarters of an inch. I'm cutting them a little long and then I will actually mill them to the right length. I'm finishing off these standoffs I just cut. So they gotta be three quarters of an inch long. So I'm just putting them in here. And facing them off. So here's all the little pieces and parts I needed to manufacture for the uh, airline and flap mounts.
Now that I have my fixture done, I'm going to start working on the aileron mounts. So the first step is to take one of these little tubes, well actually three of them in this case, because I'm going to do the one with three legs. But uh, take a washer and a tube, and I'm just going to mount them on here. with one of the bolts and then weld them together. One thing I did learn is that uh, when you weld this, this bolt will be almost impossible to get out. So I took it to the uh, belt sander and removed some material right in here around the thread area, which is right where the weld's going to be. And uh, since I've done that, they're very easy to get out. But the very first ones I did involved a press and some bolts that will never be used again. Well, that one's ready. So after welding these standoffs, it pays to run a drill through them, clean up the hole, make sure everything's in alignment. Alright, so I'm going to take the fixture and I am going to put these three standoffs in their place. I'm making the three-legged one, <coughs> three-legged uh, hinge mount. There are two of those on the flap, or well, one on each flap, two of them on the plane. So then the other thing I need is the uh, bearing holder and I've got a little spacer to uh, simulate what the bearing would be. And I just put him in his place. So I get this distance here from here up to fit on the standoff. We got about seven inches so I'm going to take a tube and cut it seven inches off. And that'll be my starting point for fabricating that tube. So if we look at the print here, hinge mount, um, right here is this tube where it has to meet up there. And I'm going to do the fish mouth on the mill because I have a mill and it's easy. So I'm just going to go up here with this protractor and figure out what this angle is. I get 56 degrees. So then I'm going to put this in a vise at 56 degrees and just hit it with a 3 8 end mill to produce that cope right there, that fish mouth that will fit on that foot. So over at the mill, I'm going to take up my tube and stick it out this way just so I have room to get in there and machine it. I'm going to put it in here, put an angle finder on it, and I'm going to shoot for 56 degrees. is right about there. Clamp it down. Now this vise has already been set up as a 3 8 tube. This is a um, 3 8 end mill. And we're right on center, or we will be here when I zero it out.
Okay, back at the fixture, I'm going to take that end, put it on the standoff, and check the angles. So I can see that it fits really nicely on there. So now I'm going to nip this to length, this tube. So I'm going to push this all the way back as far as it will go up there. Cut it off. I need it to fit inside there so I can start to figure this angle out. Alright. With this coat <clears throat> matching that standoff and this slid halfway into here and everything in alignment, I'm just going to put a line on the tube on each side. And then I'm going to mark which to, what, where the material needs to be removed. It's really easy to get confused. And now I have a line on each side of the tube that is the angle that we need to cut. Okay, back here at the mill, there's our lines we want to, the angle we want to cut. And we want to cut about halfway through the tube. There's the material we want to remove. I'm going to set it here in the vise and make that line parallel to the jaws. And it takes a little bit of messing around and you got to go around the back side and make sure the back one is parallel and the same reveal. Okay, so this tube goes on here, comes down here. Now I can tell probably hard to catch on camera, but that angle's pretty good because it's parallel to the um, bearing mouth there. So the only thing left here is there's a 45 right here in the bottom of this bearing mount, and this has a square end still, so I'm going to put a 45 on this tube. See if we can't get it to slide in here. All right, so I got a pretty good fit when we're up here. This guy here will fit in there. So now I'm going to make the other one. Okay, so there we are with the two uh, upper feet mounted, or legs mounted. Um, I just use a couple little super magnets I have there to hold things in place while I mess around. But you can see the fit's pretty good. They come together nicely. So I will tack these in place and then work on the third I'm going to tack these two tubes in place. So I've turned it upside down because they'll, they'll lay real nicely into the standoff there. And we, I'll put a tack on each one of them. Alright, I put a spring clamp on here to hold these two tubes together and I made sure they're lined up and so now I'm going to tack it right up here and I'll get both tubes and the bearing mount all in one. So now with this all tacked together, I'm going to fabricate this tube here comes along the bottom. In order to bend this lower tube, the first thing I tried is I made some 3D printed dies and that actually worked. Um, I took the print and basically put it in Fusion 360 and copied the, the bend exactly, which was dumb because of course there's some spring back so the die didn't bend it quite far enough. Um, I could have printed some more dies, you know they take five hours to print. I decided that I do have a really good 3 8 tubing bender, um, so I'm just going to use that. So I'm just going to put it in here, and I put about a 22 degree angle on it. And that works pretty good.
that we're in good shape. That fits well. So now I need to trim this end to match up to the uh, bearing mount there. Alright, so I just nipped that off on the bandsaw and we'll check it out. And I can live with that. That looks pretty good. One thing to always look at is down here where you meet that there's room for that bolt head and to get a weld in there and not destroy the face. So, so I welded all the where the bearing mount is here, most of that I could get to. And uh, I get some good tacks up here. So now I'll let it cool down, take it out of the jig, and finish weld it all. Well, there's one hinge mount, um, obviously the hardest one. And it doesn't look too bad. Doesn't Not all the welds look like a three-year-old did them. So uh, I'll start working on the rest. Here's a complete set of hinge uh, mounts. Um, these are the flaps and the ailerons. So there's a complete set. 